Guys, have you ever wondered how big companies like your favorite toy store or chocolate factory keep everything runs so smoothly? Well, let me tell you a little secret. They have a magical helper called SAP. So you can imagine it as a giant superhero toolkit that basically helps companies stay organized or it's like having a super smart notebook that tracks everything from them from making toys and chocolates to delivering them to stores and even paying the people who works there and here is an interesting fact over 77% of world's transaction revenue touches an sap system that means sap plays a very crucial role in creating or delivering many of the things that we use every day but don't worry because it's not as complicated as it sounds to you you can Say SAP is a storybook with different chapters where each chapter focuses on one important part of running a business like money materials or customers so basically in this particular video we will break it down in a more simpler way but before we do that make sure you subscribe to our Zarin Tech YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to never miss any updates coming from us okay now let's start with the basics what is SAP? So SAP is like a big magical toolkit that basically helps companies to stay organized and manage everything that they do. Just like you might use a notebook to keep track of your things, companies use SAP to track their work, whether it's making products, selling them or even paying employees. SAP ensures everything runs smoothly there. Now, SAP is divided into different sections that we call modules okay now you might be wondering what exactly are modules here so modules are like different tools in a sap toolkit where each module is designed to help with a specific task for example one module might focus on finance while other handles materials or customer relationships so these modules are basically connected and work together like pieces of a puzzle and when all of these pieces fit perfectly, the company runs smoothly there. So let's explore some of these key modules and see how they help businesses every day. First up is the finance module, which is also known as FI. So you can think of it as company's piggy bank. So just like you save your pocket money to keep track things of what you want to spend on, snacks or toys, companies use SAP Finance to track their money. It basically helps them see where their money comes from, like sales and how they spend it on things like supplies or bills. So the finance module also helps companies plan for future expenses and make sure that they have enough money for everything that they need. Next is materials management or MM. Imagine you are baking cookies. You would need ingredients like flour, sugar and chocolate chips. So now for companies, MM works like a shopping list that keep tracks of all the materials that they need to make their products. So if a toy factory needs more plastic or paint, MM helps them find it and also buy it. It also reminds them when supplies are running low so that they can order more before running out there. Next we have sales and distribution module or SD. Now, have you ever seen a lemonade stand? So the sales and distribution module works like that for the organization. Basically, it helps companies sell their products to the customers. When someone places an order for toys or snacks, SD keeps track of the order details like prices and delivery address and make sure that the product gets packed and shipped to the right person at the right time there. Next, we have human resources. So now companies have lots of people working in different roles. Just like schools have teachers, principals and students, the human resource module keeps track of all the employees, their jobs, salaries and even the training that they need there. It also helps companies figure out when they need to hire new people or give promotions to the old one. So here you can think of it as a attendance book that keeps track everything organized for their employees. Next up, we have the module production planning or PE. 
so here now you can imagine a factory making chocolate bars so here the production planning module helps them decide how many bars to make how much cocoa to use and how long it will take them to wrap them up there so it's like having a big calendar and a recipe book combined to make sure everything gets done at the right time there next we have customer relationship management or crm so imagine if you had a special notebook where you kept details about all of your friends their birthdays favorite colors and maybe their phone contacts so the crm module does something similar for companies by keeping track of their customers it basically helps businesses remember what their customers like so they can send them special offers or recommend some products they will love to buy now lastly we have warehouse management or wm now have you ever been to library where all the books are neatly organized so the warehouse management works just like that but for company products stored in our warehouses it basically they are ensures everything is in the right spot so that it's easy to find when it's time to ship so guys in conclusion sap is like an amazing toolkit with different modules that help companies organize their work in every area just like how schools or families work together to keep things running smoothly from managing money with finance to organizing warehouses with wm or keeping customers happy with crm sap make sure everything works perfectly for the organization there so next time you see your favorite toy or snack on the shelf remember that tools like sap might have played an important role in getting it there okay now that's all we have for this particular video guys if you liked it then do hit that thumbs up button and comment below if you still have any questions also don't forget to subscribe to our zarin tech youtube channel and hit that bell icon to get regular updates from us